Okay, it's time for Legal Help Live. My name is Ralph Saltzman. That's my partner, Steve Solomon. We're wearing suits and ties today because... Happy New Year! <laughs> because it's 2011, and that's what lawyers do these days, we hear. What? We, we, we wear suits and ties, and we uh, talk about the law and answer legal questions. And you can ask a legal question. We'll give you a legal answer. But you've got to call us at 1-800-405-4222. That's the name of the game. That's how you get in, and that's how you ask a legal question. Hi, Steve. How Any are you? kind of questions on the law, social situations, hookah bars, marijuana, drugs, sex, alcohol, landlord rights, speeding tickets, accident cases, tax, uh, 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 going on cruise ships and, and, and uh, motors running out, you name it, we'll oh, talk Lord. about it. Yes, so, or, or uh, yeah, sh- a ship stalled in the middle of the ocean. It's tough. You know, I was thinking about accommodating people who have certain types of uh, uh, injuries and problems. And, mm-hmm. You know, there's federal law on that, there's state law on it. Right. But I, I, I noticed that the regulatory agency that regulates us, the state bar, seems to be having a lot of problems about people who are blind and who have gone through and want, now want to take the bar and want some reasonable accommodation over it. Um, it well, I don't see how eyesight can be a qualification for, for practicing law. Well, it wouldn't be a qualification, but when they go to take the state bar test to become a lawyer, they've yeah, been, that, all, during law, all during law school they've had certain kind of good assistance so they can do this. Right. Now they go to take the bar and there's been all kinds of disputes yeah, that's as, where I'm to, going. as to whether, what kind of assistance they're going to have. And the State Bar of California has had one or two losses, another one now, over blind students and whether they can be accommodated or not. Uh, now, it's, it's generally the State Bar uh, that's defended. The accommodations may come so, somewhere else. But yes. that sort of concerned me because um, it, it's a, you know. Well, the State Bar sets the rules. And if, and if uh, sitting for a bar exam... Uh, the state bar disallows uh, an applicant and in, and, and, uh, any any uh, visual assistance. Then it's it's the it's not going to happen. Well, and and the and the the student the first student I know won, and was accommodated. Now the second student is going through the same thing with the California bar. And do you know what the accommodation was? Well, what, what they ended up doing. The, the, well, one of them was was uh, uh, a person that you could talk to right. who would read it to you. But there are computers that they now have where you can actually read the stuff to them. That's true. So. You know, it would seem to me that that the licensing agency, the bar, which is dealing with the lawyers, which are interpreting the law, yes, uh, would go would bend over backwards to accommodate people. I was sort of shocked about that. In this age of accommodation and technology, you'd think that that would uh, be something that the state bar would so, catch up to. So, if you've got a comment on that area, one eight hundred four zero five four two 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 Legal Help Live, and we'll try and answer your questions. Uh, if you think you've got a bad ticket. Uh, or a good ticket, or you're going too slow and you got a ticket, or you got a radar or laser ticket, or the photo cameras and you want to talk about it, or you're walking down the street um, uh, and and you get in an accident. And I saw something that was all I always always wondered about. Uh, a truck is driving along, yes, and I noticed that the truck is legally parked. Wait, but it's a large truck, and it's obstructing the view. Uh, of a, of a car going by. So, All right, so the, the truck is at the curb. Yeah. It's just a few inches from the curb. Yeah, and it's a big truck. And it's within a le- legal parking space, yeah. and but you it, can't get around the truck, or you, you can't, can't see around you the can't truck. You can't see around the truck. The, there's a recent court of appeals case that that held the truck is total, is total is can be liable uh, for that situation. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting because, you know, a lot of times i driving and I try to park and then I see I can't see around it there's yeah. a truck in front of me yeah so if if you know you're obstructing the view uh you've got uh, interesting situation now I understand we have some phone calls um yeah let's go to the phones. let's go to the phones all right uh we have a Ms. Wilson to start with let's start off with Ms. Wilson that's what I hear but I don't hear Ms. Wilson Hello? well there Hi. you are speak Hi. up a little bit you got Ralph and Steve. What can we do for you? Happy New Year! You just Happy won. Year? You just won two tickets uh, to Barney's Beanery, either in uh, Santa Monica or in uh, West Hollywood for dinner for two. And how can we help you? Hello. Hello. 
Okay, you're on the air, so now's your time. I'm on the air. Hi, yes, my name is Ms. Wilson, and I have a tenant right um, question. I was given a three-day notice to pay or quit, and prior to that, in my lease, they stated that if you were going to be late, to let them know ahead of time, which I did because I'm not working at the current time. And I gave them partial rent after the three-day notice about maybe a week later, and my landlord took the partial payment. He came back three days later and said, Ms. Wilson, we cannot take your payment, and also handed me a um, notice of a summons, an awful detainer eviction. Is that legal? Well, let me ask you this. What, what city do you live in? I live in Canoga Park, and I can barely hear you. Okay, it's Canoga Park. Canoga Park is a city of Los Angeles. Uh, aside and apart from the rent control problems, and you might want to check with the rent control board on that, uh, if, if you were to make the payment on the first and you don't make the payment, uh, and you only make a partial payment, they can serve you with a three-day notice to pay or leave. If they do take the money and accept a partial payment, uh, then they can't throw you out. Uh, if they wait the three days and you don't make the payment, then they sue you in, uh, with an unlawful detainer. You have about five days to answer or respond. It gets set for trial between 30 and 60 days. And you could be thrown out in that situation. On the other hand, if they, if they tell you that they'll accept a lesser amount and work out some payment plan with you, then you may have a defense to this action. Uh, or, as you say, if you, if you have been uh, told that you can make payments a little bit later than the actual due date, and you have done that in the past, that also may be a defense to the action. But the, the problem that you face now is, when did you get the summons? When did you get the court papers? When did, I get, when did I get the summons? Yes. When did you get the court papers? Um, I was on December the 30th, 2010, and my rent is due on the 15th of each month. Okay, well, here, here's the problem that you face. It's possible that they may have already taken a default judgment against you. No, they have to give you notice. You, you, you need to get, you'll be getting documents from the court that says you haven't filed an answer, there's going to be a hearing date. What I would do is get my tail down to the courthouse, all the forms and stuff you can get in the clerk's office. Uh, are you computer savvy? You, yes, I am. Okay, you can go on uh and all the unlawful detainer forms and answers and responses are due. I'd get a response on file. But Ralph's right, they can take a default against you. Uh, but you need to do something ASAP. Like tomorrow? I think it's a little bit late, but maybe not even late for today. You you should do something immediately. No, I've already filed my answer. I filed my answer. I filed my answer. Oh, okay, then you'll get it. You'll, it'll get set for trial in the next uh, twenty one days to I, I forty five.